Are you a bindi lover like us? Then this recipe is definitely for you. If not, we still request you to give this a try. This may become your new favorite. Welcome to Ranna Roshmita and we are making the Hirai Bhindi. To make a gravy base, start by taking some poppy seeds or khaskhas, yellow mustard seeds, a few cashews to reduce the pungency of the mustard and green chilies for the heat. Soak it in warm water for 15 minutes and blend it into a smooth thick paste. For the star ingredients, take washed and dried tender bhindis. Cut the top stem and its tail like this. Then cut diagonally through the middle to make them more appealing. We will marinate these, so sprinkle some water on them so that the marinade sticks. Then add turmeric powder, Kashmiri chilli powder, salt powder and some roasted besan to coat our bhindis. Massage thoroughly and coat the marinade on the bhindis evenly. Remember not to add salt at this stage to prevent the bhindis from getting that slimy texture. For frying them, heat some mustard oil in a kadhai until it reaches its smoking point. Then drop the marinated bhindis into the oil in batches. As the bhindis are coated with roasted besan, it prevents their slimy texture from forming when cooked and imparts a good flavor to the oil. Take them off after frying for about a minute on high flame so that they retain their brilliant green color. Place them on a separate plate and keep them aside. Now to make the gravy in the same oil you fried your bhindis, add some kalonji, turmeric powder, and Kashmiri chilli powder. Stir and infuse the oil with the spices. Then on simmer flame add beaten curd and stir to prevent it from splitting. This will give the gravy a rich and smooth texture. As soon as the gravy comes to a boil Add in the mustard gravy base we had made earlier. Mix it in with the rest of the gravy, then simmer and cover for 5 minutes. After 5 minutes of cooking, you can see the gravy has released its oil. Now, Rinse your blender with some warm water and add to the gravy. Then add salt as per your preference and a bit of sugar to balance the flavors. The simmer, cover and cook for another 5 minutes. Now when you take off the cover, the aroma of the gravy will be heartwarming and the texture of the gravy would have reached the perfect consistency. At this stage, add in your fried bindis and coat them evenly with the gravy. Simmer for 2 minutes so that the flavors of the gravy can be absorbed by the bindis. Then finish off with a handful of chopped coriander leaves. Give it one final stir and take off the heat. Your dahi rai bhindi is ready to be served. Serve this hot with some hot steamed rice and oh ho, we promise you won't need anything else. If you love this recipe, then please hit the like button and give it a share. And until next time, happy cooking!